Hi folks, and welcome to episode 16 of The Queer Colony. We rolled it back to version 1.2 of RimWorld. Let's jump right in and see how things are going at Zigzag Base. Uh-oh, a raid! The people of Mana are attacking us. You'll prepare for a while and then attack. Okay, more people with little bow and arrows. I think we are okay. Let's take a look at these people and decide if they would be good to take prisoner. We have Antelope, Cannibal, but also Ace. Okay, not too bad. Banzo, who has a peg leg. Careful shooter, but is lazy. So, oh, good intellectual though. Wow, okay. So, yeah, if we recruit him, he might be a good guy to just have at the research desk all day, and then it doesn't really matter if he's lazy and has a peg leg because he's not really moving anywhere. Antelope skills. Not, okay. Yeah, this guy, you know, take him or leave him. Let's make sure there aren't other people on the map, because only two seems like a pretty small raid. Also, who, oh, that's our wild man. Um anyone else oh see there we go okay we have one person up here okara that's a neat name she's psychically dull and a slow learner very good animal skills fairly healthy okay so she might be a worthwhile prisoner anybody else that's it only three people oh here we go Oh no, that's them again. I've gone around full circle. I thought they were like over here, but that was the last readers. That's really it, just three people. Huh. Okay, that seems um, like it will be fairly easy to take care of. Even though they're attacking from multiple angles, I think we can just, you know, put like three people up here and maybe five down there. And I think we can defeat them fairly easily. I'm going to keep an eye on Lieb to make sure, you know, when she heads back, she doesn't take a detour, but um, it, it should be okay. Tribes people are beginning their assault. I couldn't quite get the wall finished, but we do have an almost completely walled in base, so that is extremely handy. Let's remove these planning marks so we can see. Yeah, look at that, we've got a wall all around the base. Oh, looks like we need to put a door here. I think there was like some um, stone there. All right, let's set up our people so that we can be ready for these three raiders. All right, this raider is arriving first. Uh, she was closer, so that makes sense. I think unless the walls are built completely, it doesn't count. She seems to be heading for this as if it were a gap. Uh, let's find out if that is the case. Yeah, okay, they're shooting at her, so it seems like it's open. Okay, and let's see if the other person, the other people have arrived. Not yet. It's going to be tricky going back and forth, but that is the idea of the challenge of two groups. Okay. All right, these guys are starting to arrive as well. Oh, who needs treatment? Zach? Not surprising. Uh, Gracie, what's up, dude? Oh, there's a tree there. I thought I put her right there, but there is a tree. Uh, Zach, maybe let's you hiding a little better there we go Gracie can you not reach okay let's get you behind here this person is hurt great okay so that's going well and I think this battle is about to begin wow Bree is slow as always <laughs> we'll have to try to get her uh, a new leg maybe when we can okay let's keep an eye on this battle for a bit All right, Quinn is blocking Bree. Oh, Vanzo's already down. Unfortunately, oh no, he was the researcher. I was, I was thinking of Antelope. Okay, that's great. We will wait to capture him uh, until Antelope is down. How's this coming up here? That's going fine. Everybody's focused on Antelope in the dark. Good job, guys. Even though it's dark, you are fighting well. He's just got a cruddy bow and arrow. 
I'm very lucky. Uh, leave is is your range. Oh, you've got a pretty short range with that pump shotgun. It's not as good as a rifle. I don't think I care to move you closer though. Cause these guys all have. Oh, Zoe is also not able to. Okay, let's maybe move you guys over here. No, we don't want to open the grave. Uh, see if that gets you a little bit closer. All right, let's check on these guys. Oh, is she down? She's down. Yes. Okay, awesome. And Gracie's our doctor. Let's get her to capture Okiara. Amazing. I guess um, Jewel can grab this bow. And Zach can head to the medical bay and someone can tend you. You're not that hurt, so it's okay. All right, let's head back to the other group. Oh, look at them. They look so cool. Look at this. They're tough. Wow. I love it. Awesome, guys. Looking so good. All this, all this uh, machinery for one... One guy with a bow and arrow. Okay, darn. All right, well, Antelope, we didn't want as much, eh? He was not as good. Yeah, he's a cannibal. Okay, amazing. Let's capture Banzo. I think Quinn and Tona might have decent medical skills. Or at least, you know, not horrendously bad medical skills. Jewel, I'm gonna put right off. Okay, leave. Oh, it's uh, Quinn and leave, not Quinn and Tona. Okay, let's have Quinn do that. Lee was up pretty late getting that ambrosia from far away. Um, there's some stuff to grab down here though, so we'll get you guys to grab all the stuff. Medicine, that'll come in handy. Yes, yes, yes. Tona, what would you like to carry? A bow? Um, anything more important? There's beer. Maybe Zoe can get the beer. You're going you're gonna to eat? Okay. After you eat, please come and get some beer. Bree, you want to play chess. Before you play chess, I guess come and grab... Oh, you don't haul anyways. Okay. No worries. So we will leave them to it. They will capture their prisoners. I think we need to add one more medical bed. We only have two. So let's do that. And Zach is already there resting in his medical bed. Amazing. Who did I say our other medical person was? Not Tona, but Lieb. Lieb is holding stuff, so maybe I'll have her tend to Zach. Uh, he's not very hurt, so she can get a little practice, and it won't really risk anything. Uh, he only needs, you know, a little bit of treatment. Okay, there's Okiara. Gracie is tending to her already. I like her hair hairstyle. That's pretty cool. That's kind of like the hairstyle that I used to have. When I had my blue hair, I had like an um, asymmetrical hairstyle that was like mostly shaved on one side and then the other side was like pretty long, like it was down to my chin and it was blue. And But now with the pandemic, we were, Ontario was in a lockdown for like quite a long time. So I actually bought uh, one of those kits with the trimmer and I just meh, you know, number four, um, number eight, um, pretty much buzzed my hair. So I now have super short hair, but the top is, is growing out. I'm going to keep doing number four around the bottom and around the ears and stuff. And the top I'm going to let grow again. Um, but yeah, I used to have that kind of hairstyle. I don't know how I feel. Someone was all saying like, oh no, if you have like a side part, that's now like a, bo a baby boomer thing. I don't know, you know, what I think about that. I'm definitely not a baby boomer. So I don't know. I kind of liked my asymmetrical hairstyle. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's like a side part. I feel like that's maybe a bit different than a side part because it was asymmetrical and it was like shaved on one side. So it definitely wasn't your typical like Karen hairstyle. Um, but anyways, it's completely shaved off now. So I guess I won't worry about it. I'll, I'll see how it grows in. Now it's got no part at all because the short hair on top, even though it's growing out, is just sticking up every which way. And it's, it's a little bit crazy right now. I've got to put hair gel in it. Zach and Quinn, that was kind of weird. You guys were like part of each other washing amazing we are taking good care of these guys let's make sure we hit recruit so that i don't forget boop and boop okay are all their needs taken care of 
food. You're eating. Quinn, could you maybe, instead of talking to Gigi, could you feed Banzo? Okiara is doing okay. Basku is okay as well. He was just washed. Good. Our prisoners are looking good. So we'll get Quinn to feed Banzo and we will be good. Amazing. Well, that was good. That was a pretty quick raid. Now we can focus on our visitors. And now that our walls are complete, actually, yeah, they even finished the other couple of spots. I think we can finally build our very first kill box. Here we are almost done the year. Uh, I think this is still our first year. It might even be our second year. Um, and we can maybe finally do a kill box. That's a bit embarrassing. And we can finally get this throne room ready. I think those are my next priorities. Uh-oh, someone has an infection. I bet it's one of our new prisoners. Yep, Okiara. Someone already on the way. What about Gracie? Uh, she's attempting to recruit her. How about instead of that? Uh, wait a minute. Can you not treat her infection? Oh, that's strange. Usually when they tell you about it, you can tend it. Um, okay, can be tended in 12 hours, I guess. We will let her chat. Great news, Zach is fully healed. Um, and he's immediately going to go and bury someone. Poor Zach. What we really need you to do, Zach, is get back to researching. I guess that counts as hauling, and you're our hauling person? Bummer. Um, maybe we'll switch that around. Hey, Zoe has teamed an alpaca. Um, wait, can you try the other one while you're down here? Thank you. Instead of going back and forth across the map. I set these to be um, tamed because I really would like more materials. I only have tons and tons of cloth, a little bit of wool cloth, and that's it. I don't really have any other leathers or wool, uh, and I really like a little more variety to my fabrics. Let's call this alpaca Alicia. I was just about to be like, and let's send her to her pen. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nope, we're in 1.2, there's no pens. All right, let's hope Zoe is successful. That would be really nice if she didn't have to tromp all the way down here in the rain again. Great, she was successful, that's amazing. All right, so this one's going to go also to animals. Let's call her. Ali. Actually, so why don't you grab this piece of steel on your way back? Uh, an ambrosia sprout. Wow, we have been getting tons of those everywhere. I'll take it though, they make a lot of good money. Ooh, a bulk goods trader is coming. Sounds good. Aw, oh, <laughs> they're passing by the poor wild man who got himself some bananas. How cute is that? I'm going to leave this um, disallowed so that he can continue snacking on those. How's he doing? I mean, he seems to be doing all right. Let's go trade with that trader. All right, let's see. I think we'll keep all of our new alpacas that we just tamed. Got any good? We have a lot of fruit to get rid of. Maybe we could do that. Use it to buy some things. Ooh, like components. Oh, we have a lot of components. That's unusual. <laughs> Usually I don't have that many components. Um, hey, we do have a few leathers. Am I? Oh, I didn't have, I thought this was this. So I actually have more leathers than I thought. Maybe we should uh, sell one of our alpacas. I'll check. I'll check when I'm, once I'm out of the trade uh, screen. Let's get rid of this bird skin. It's no use to us in that small an amount. Guinea pig fur, chinchilla fur. We should make some soft things. Ooh, tiger leather sell some of our drugs. We could sell some of our ambrosia. 
That's already a lot of money. Anything good to sell us? Got earrings, a jade bracelet. That might be helpful. That would be good for jewel. Ooh, or a diamond necklace. Nice. Got a bunch of clothes. They don't have any more gold, unfortunately. Red light, modern lamp. Yeah, they don't have much. They've got a darts board. I mean, that's kind of cool. I guess I'll buy that. I don't have much else that we can buy. I guess I'll buy some jewelry because we, we're not anywhere near researching that ourselves. Yeah, I mean, hmm. They really don't have much. I think I'm going to take this out of the equation and, um, because I don't, I never want to have too much money on hand. Do we want more neutral, I mean? Yeah, let's, okay, you know what? Let's take a bunch more of that and sell a bunch of our ambrosia because that will let us make medicine because you need this to make medicine once you have the uh, the recipe for that. Munchkin cats, cute, but um, no thanks. All right, and then I'll go check the alpacas and see um, how much we actually have. But I suspect it's not much because we still have a chair here made out of alpaca wool that's not finished. So let's actually check our leathers. Which one? Oh, I guess I could have checked it in there too. It would have shown up to sell. Yeah, we don't have any. Hmm. We have rhino leather. You need quite a bit to make the chairs. So yeah, I'll keep. Uh, I'll keep our. Oh no, our visitors really hated their stay. Oh, that sucks so much. What well, went wrong, guys? I noticed they were hanging out a lot in the throne room instead of like in the dining room, which is kind of weird. Needs. Eight without table. Insulted. That's not good. Ah, uh, well, I mean, it was rainy the whole time, so... Rebuffed by GG, that's your own colleague. Like, that's not our problem. Yeah, I think they're just bummed because it's wet and rainy. Not very nice out. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, this guy's like a drug addict, so um, definitely not our fault that we didn't have that on hand for you. We definitely have like lots of food. We've got a nice table. Like, yeah, we need more chairs, but they have a really nice guest room. Oh, well, we are making the guests their own um, bathrooms here, so hopefully that'll help our next batch of visitors. Uh-oh, who has the plague? Layla and Liam do. Bummer, our boomalopes are sick. Um, do we have any animal spots? I don't think we do. I don't think we put those. Um, are they in here? Yes. All right, let's stick some along here. They can go lie down and we'll have Gracie come and tend them. Look at this little person here. She's wearing a chef's hat, but carrying like a massive gun. I don't know. It just looks really strange to me. Boomalopes are being tended to. I had Gracie tend to Layla, and I had Zach tend to Liam to get some medical practice. Now he's eating without a table and is probably going to complain about it. Yep. Oh, hey, our new dartboard. Let's put that up somewhere. That'll impress our guests next time. Cool. Uh-oh. Fire, short circuit, and um, no one is, okay, a couple people are asleep yet. Let's get the other people who are awake to come and help out. I'm glad Sarah was okay. She was really close to that explosion. Aw, uh, Leave is playing harp. I'm so sorry to disturb you, Leave. I don't know why you're playing harp, though, because your artistic skills are nil. Are you, um, bad music? Listening to harp. <laughs> She's happy. Okay, it doesn't count as bad music, I guess. That's kind of strange. All right, come and put out a fire, please. Help, help Quinn out. We'll let everyone else go to bed. 
Bree, Bree, you can come and help. Oh, you're, where are you? You're right there. Ah, oh, you're very handy. You were disguised amongst all the uh, traitor people. Yes, okay, we're getting this quest again to do Jewel's Ceremony, and all we need to do is get the room's impressiveness up, and I've been working on that. So I think we are getting close. We, we're expanding it a little bit. I'm gonna move all of these walls outward. Um, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just build these stools and see if that helps. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna cancel for now. And we'll see if it helps to just build these stools and maybe grab something else as a decoration. I wasn't able to find, I know we talked about like, hey, can we find like a statue or something like that? I wasn't able to find anything. So either I'm gonna make something, it's a little far away, or um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll just make something at the art table, I guess. Quick, Jonah, save the soup. Is it gonna work? Ooh, I think we got it in time. Yes. Yikes, it's still not enough power, even turning on the generator. Our wind turbines are pretty useless. Maybe we need to make a third solar generator. We have a quest available, failing transport. Ooh, cool, is it like a shuttle crash, people, that we have to protect? Yes, it is. Need and one cataphract. Commander must be rescued, eight hours. Let's do it, yeah, let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna pause, it goes quick, because they need to crash and land soon. Yeah, um... Let's do it. We'll get Jewel a bit more honor. I decided what to do with the throne room. It looks a bit terrible because of the color and it hogs a lot of the space. I had to move everything else out of the way, but it kind of works. And let's see. Oh, only 81. Okay. So we might have to put, um, you know, some more walls and build some more floors. All right. Let's accept this quest. All right, let's see, where's it gonna land? Okay, the shuttle has crashed. Ooh, it's coming all the way over here. Wow, that's pretty far. Let's go protect them. Oh, Gracie is doing some recruiting. Okay, maybe we'll let you finish. Quinn is feeding a prisoner. Jewel, I'm gonna interrupt your shower. That's not a priority. Head on over, leave. Having a bath. Oh, I hate to interrupt your bath, sweetheart. Especially because that's a brand new bath. We did build it for the guests, but I'm sure our colonists will enjoy it as well. Um, I hope you got some good soak time, because now it's time to go fight. Zach is researching. You know what? I think I'm going to leave him there. Yeah. Tona, what are you up to? They are cleaning. Head on over, Tona. Zoe is feeding Liam. Oh yeah, one of our broomlopes that is sick. All right, we'll let you finish that. Bree was hunting. We will let you drop that off. All right, not too bad. So we'll get three people to head over right away and a couple of more people heading over in a minute. We've got two prisoners that are healed medically. So I'm gonna open up another bed. Make sure no one is sleeping on the floor. Looks like Banzo is our last person to recover. I think Bree is done. Yeah, oh, you were gonna make a sculpture. All right, well, let's send you over here. You can come back to that later. Quinn is gonna have a bite to eat. I guess that's fine. We'll let Gracie finish with the prisoners. Zoe is gonna feed some berries to the other Boomalope that has the plague, but that's okay. She, she'll go do that and then be halfway um, over to the shuttle. 
and the first few people have arrived, so we're not, you know, leaving it completely unattended. It's unpredictable. It, they could arrive anywhere in the next six hours. It could be immediately, it could be right now, it could be in six hours. So it's, um, it's tricky. You don't want to leave people standing around forever, but you want to make sure that you're, they're there when you need them there. Okay, Quinn is done eating. Head on over. You have a very good weapon. Okay, Gracie is done. Head on over. Leela is always done as well. Head on over. Done feeding Leela. Uh, Zach is eating. I guess he's not going to go do some research. I don't know. Should we send him over? Let's send him over. It's always worthwhile to make the fight easier, I would say. Okay, there we go. This was perfect. Everyone was perfectly in position before the raid started. Let's see who we're looking at. Okay, defend them until the new shuttle arrives. There's only three. They have bows and arrows and a knife. I don't think this will be too tricky. Anyone else on the map besides those three? No. All right, I feel fairly confident. I'm not gonna be overly confident, but feeling pretty good. Maybe I'll bring these guys around to this side so they can be ready to defend. Perfect. Lee, why don't we hide you behind this boulder? Although, yeah, if they only have bow and arrows, it's not going to be very strong. Okay, let's get so over here, too. Oh, yeah, we have the cataphract, too. That person's going to be very powerful. Frog only has a log. <laughs> Frog with a log. Frog with a log is already dead. And this guy's already running away. He's defeated! We did it! Yay! Good job! That wasn't too tricky. All right, let's see what kind of stuff we can grab. They brought a bunch of pemmican. They've got some crappy weapons. They have one beer, they have one wood. I don't think we're gonna bother with the one wood. And then yeah, um, one of the nice parts of this quest is we can also disassemble this shuttle, which is handy. Why don't we have Quinn do that? And we'll get the rest of our folks to grab some of that pem pemmican. Maybe grab that beer. Here we go, Quinn made fast work of the shuttle and we got some steel, some plasteel, and eight components out of it. That's pretty good. All right, bring that on home. Leave, once you're done eating, you can bring some plasteel. Bree, why don't you bring some, oh, you don't haul, I forgot. All right, Jewel can bring the steel. Zoe has decided to stay in the area to do some stargazing, even though there are corpses around. Interesting choice, Zoe. Interesting choice. And she's close to a break risk. That sucks. Yeah, you're observing corpses. Why don't do that? If you can avoid it, please don't do that. You're going to have to walk by them again. All right, our last prisoner is healed. And here comes the shuttle to rescue the people we were protecting. Go ahead, need get on in there and get our points. Amazing. Oh yeah, we get this as usual because it is now, instead of a Baroness. Oh no, we did it again. Oh shoot, maybe we should have left it. We were so close. Now we need all these other things. Oh my God. Oh. That's me screaming in my hands again. Shoot, I did not think it would push us over the next barrier. Wow. Okay, that really sucks. Well, good job getting the quest. Um, no more quests. <laughs> we really need to do this. We are going to have to tear up all of a floor to make it nice floors and add some drapes and make it even nicer looking and bigger and get an even bigger throne. Okay, it's a lot of work, but uh, we can handle it, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see. 
Okay, I am going to leave it here. Let's say good night to everyone on Zigzag Base. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Big queer mom hugs going out to anyone who needs them. Take care. Bye-bye.